Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise to speak in opposition to this resolution. This resolution is nothing more than a stunt to obstruct the progress and the success of the bipartisan infrastructure law. Since the passage of this historic once in a generation investment in our nation's infrastructure, we have seen strong economic growth and the creation of over 7 million good paying American jobs. The investments in this transformative legislation are reaching communities across our country, including communities in my district in Ventura County in California. This week, the Biden administration announced the award of $12 million for the construction of countywide electric vehicle char charging centers, off-grid EV charging, and solar battery storage, as well as fast charging ports. As a member of the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, I have seen firsthand the critical need to not only complete long overdue repairs to our nation's infrastructure, but I've also seen the need to invest in clean energy and alternative fueling infrastructure in our country. It takes bold action to tackle the climate crisis and reduce our carbon footprint, and the bipartisan infrastructure law does just that. The law is working to help communities plan their growth, connect our cities, and significantly improve safety along our roads, bridges, and rail systems. The law is working to grow our local, regional, and national economy. The law is working to accelerate the Biden administration's efforts to grow our nation's middle class from the bottom up and the middle out. Mr. Speaker, the bottom line is that the bipartisan infrastructure law is working for the American people. And this resolution is both bad for innovation, bad for job creation, and bad for America. That is why I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to vote no. And with that, I yield back.